Happy Mindful Monday, Conscious Leaders. So this week we are speaking about the victim and the shift into the creator. And so the victim mentality, the victim role or archetype shows up really being at the effect of life in the sense of that whatever condition is occurring, they are completely powerless to this. This can be to another person. It can be to an event or a circumstance. It can be to the weather. It can be to the mood that they're experiencing. And this can become a habitual pattern in life. And so we want to really start looking at the ways in which the victim plays out and also discerning out of these three, which is our default. And so what we want to do when we recognize that we're in the victim is that we want to shift. We want to come from this place of powerlessness to recognize that we can actually empower our own selves. And that really, really takes a shift of perspective. And it takes um, two different tools, which one would be first is focus. Where your focus goes, energy flows. So we want to be really conscious of where am I focusing? Am I fo focusing on what's not working because I'm only going to get more of that? Or can I maybe look at, even if it's hard to find, something that is really working? And maybe that's that my dog is here with me and I get to cuddle with her today. Maybe that it's the sun just started to shine outside. And so ultimately what that does is it really helps us to take our energy that is something more anabolic and it also really shows us internally that actually we can create whatever our experience is and that can be by our focus and another way that we can become the creators of our own lives in this shift is to really start paying attention to feelings when you recognize that you have catabolic feelings, feelings, so below the line feelings, it's taking a moment to pause and acknowledge that and then shifting to something that brings you, and again, it is that focus, but a feeling that feels good, a feeling that's more anabolic. And we pretty much have a thought and a feeling simultaneously. They happen so quickly. And when we're not aware of that, we just continue on to a behavioral pattern and so when we pause and we stop when we recognize that catabolic feeling, instead of just going straight into the behavior of the victim, when we shift to the feelings that feel good, we recognize that we can actually feel empowered in that moment and we can feel more aware of the direction that we do want to go instead of we don't. So a perfect example is um, my mother who I love dearly, um, you know, six children, the middle of child pretty much of an Irish family. And um, she really, really sees life. She lives in victim frequently. And she really sees that life is happening for her. Everything's a problem. And it doesn't even matter if it actually kind of turned out nice or something really good happened. She's automatically going to going to focus on what's not working. And that might be that, um, somebody didn't call her back in a timely manner. It might be that, um, you know, her sister said something that she didn't like the way she said it because they both have different beliefs about certain things. Um, maybe it's also about that the person in front of her is going slower than she, than she wants to go. Or the fact that um, there was a long line at the airport or that it's it's starting to snow outside. Everything to her in her eyes is a problem and she's at the effect of it. And, um, you know, it's really interesting in working with her because I just check in with her and I'm, you know, I just really try to su support her and I go, wow, okay, I, I hear you're upset and that's, I get it. That makes so much sense. And I'll either, as working with her, um, shift her to start asking her different questions to get her out of that mode of focusing on that, what's not working. And I'll, uh, I'll just ask her some other questions about maybe something else that has nothing to do with it. And again, that's to bring that focus or I'll be, I, I, you know, I'll, I'll intentionally ask her, so what is working? What is working? And so when we start to ask ourselves again, all of these archetypes really is, even though they have the different names of the challenger and the coach and the creator, ultimately really what we're doing is we're all coming in and coaching either ourselves or somebody else. And the way that we do that is we acknowledge and validate and we get curious. Becoming aware of the way that we show up is so huge. So I definitely advise you to take time to look at the content each week because it will go through certain different questions about when, how each one manifests for you and what kind of things really trigger that. And if you find it is your default or question that it might be your default, it may be worth it to spend more time is how is it serving me? What is it costing me? 
because for my mother, she, that's how she got attention. That's how she got people to listen to her and she so badly wants to feel heard. So really understanding these things and recognizing that when we actually do that, it sometimes actually costs us more than it serves us. And again, that's the leverage we're looking for to make that change. So feel free to reach out. Have a great week exploring your victim and have fun with it. You know, understand we're all going to go to these places. We're all going to go there. So you can beat yourself up for it or, or even more stay in the victim and push yourself down and recognize that you and think that you're effective at it or recognize that in a moment you have a choice to change a deep pattern. So I'll talk to you soon. Have an awesome week.